Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun next raker video. And this particular video is actually a compilation of many ways that you can sneak food into class using everyday school supplies. And yeah, I know most of you guys are not in school at the moment due to the COVID-19 outbreak, but still these are fun to know because eventually you will all have to go back into the classroom and trying to learn while hungry isn't very easy. So here are 20 ways that you can successfully sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class without getting caught by your teacher. But before we get started with these, let's get to the giveaway for this video and I'm lowering the like goal so here's the deal guys, if this video gets 5,000 likes before May 31st, 2020, I will randomly choose a winner from the comments below and that person will get a brand new Nintendo Switch. And to participate, all you have to do is leave a comment below and of course, smash that like button. Again guys, 5,000 likes is all we need. That is a really low goal that we can definitely get to so please like this video. And one last thing, please subscribe to this channel for more awesome giveaways. Alright then, with all that being said, let's get these hacks going. So in order to sneak some chips and candy into class, I had to go to my local dollar store and purchase this really cool art set that you see right here. I actually got this for a really good price of $3.99. Now inside of this art case is a bunch of supplies such as jumbo markers, skinny markers, a ruler for measuring, some crayons for coloring, oil pastels, these are always fun. On top of that, there's an eraser, a bottle of glue, a sharpener, and lastly, here we have a palette with a bunch of colors, and this includes a brush and a tray. So as you can see, there's a lot of school supplies in here, and knowing that, we can use that to our advantage. You see guys, if we remove some of these supplies from their original compartments, we can replace them with our snacks. For example here, I'm getting rid of these markers and in their place I will position my mini Kit Kats. The paint tray was the perfect spot to lay down my Jolly Ranchers and here I was able to fit 6 pieces in there. The crayons that you see right here will be replaced by some flaming hot fries and those fit in perfectly right here. As for my Takis, they will go where the smaller markers used to be and again these also fit in perfectly. At this point I have many snacks to choose from next time I get hungry in class. All I gotta do is close up my art set and take this into my class. My teacher will never know that I have snuck in some food. I can even share with my friends. The 4 bucks that I paid for this art set were totally worth it, especially now that I can keep reusing this. I'll just have to refill it with some snacks. While I was at my local dollar store, I found this really cool storage box. It has 3 sliding compartments on the side which are transparent but that's okay, we can still work with those. Also on top it has 3 more compartments. So let's begin to fill those in. I'll add some colored pencils on one, some colorful eraser caps and the other one I'll just put in my crayons. Just to make things look more casual. As far as the sliding compartments, we are gonna fix the transparent issue we have. We can do that by cutting out some strips from construction paper such as you see right here. I nailed it with my cuts as these are the right size. Now all I do is put them in and then they adjust to the round shape of each compartment. From outside you can't even see in there, which is how we want it. So the lowest compartment I will fill in with some recess pieces. The middle one will contain some Mike and Ike and the top compartment that's where I'll add my M&Ms and we are now done. You can keep this storage box on top of your desk during class and there's nothing to suspect. And the awesome part is that you can slide open your compartments whenever you're in need of some sugar. Just grab the candy that you're craving. I wasn't even at the school supply section when I found this very cool storage tower and it's made up of 3 compartments. Two are the same size and there's a little one in there which I can assume would be used for dipping sauce. Anyway, we are gonna use this to sneak some snacks into class. On one of the larger compartments, I'll add some hot Cheetos in there but I'll leave just enough room for the little compartment and inside that one I will store two Oreos. Let's seal these up and since this container is transparent, we can fix that by wrapping some tape around it to block the view of our snacks. Here I'm using red tape. See how cool that looks? Now let's move on to the other compartment. That's the one that I will be filling up with some Kool-Aid. So I'll just fill these up with a couple of Kool-Aid Jammer pouches. These come in a really cool blue color. Now we can join both sides together. Basically guys, the idea here is to make the containers look like a water bottle. So what we can do is tape the top of a real water bottle onto this container. From a distance, it will look like a container filled with water so our teachers won't even question it. And now we are ready for when we're hungry during class. We'll have our Kool-Aid, our hot Cheetos and Oreos. There's no reason to starve in class now. This cool mini drawer organizer will definitely come in handy if I'm trying to sneak some candy into class. 
I like it because it comes with two sliding drawers. And yeah guys, again they're transparent, but we already know how to fix that. The idea here is to make it seem like these drawers contain school supplies inside. So let's take them both out so we can easily tamper with them. With masking tape, I'm gonna cover three out of the four sides of each drawer. I will leave the front side as is. And just like that, all the sides that needed to be covered with tape are no longer see-through. Here I have already cut out two pieces of foam board that will act as dividers. And I'll just slide them inside each drawer right on the middle. So the front of the drawers we gotta fill up with some school supplies. For example here, I'll add some colorful rubber bands. In this drawer I will fill up with some mini clothespins which could be considered part of an arts and crafts project. As for the back of the drawers, that's where a candy will go. This one I'll add my recess pieces inside and this other one will contain my Mike and Ike. Be careful not to overfill them though because it'll be hard to put them back. If you did things right, they should easily slide in, just like that. You can't even tell that there's anything edible inside this mini drawer storage. If you look at this from the front, all you see is school supplies. And when you get hungry during class, just pull out a drawer of your choice all the way out. But if your teacher was to get suspicious, then just pull it out about halfway so that he or she can see that there's only supplies in there and nothing more. At first glance, this cup doesn't look like a school supply, but in reality it is. Well, it's more of an office supply, but we could easily get away with having one of these in class. Basically, what this is, is a mini trash bin, and it's meant for miniature trash, such as crumbled up sticky notes or even candy wrappers. Just push the lid in, and then it'll close shut with the spring mechanism that it has in there. And if we had trash in there, to empty it out, all we have to do is remove the top and dump it out onto a larger trash can. Well anyway guys, we need this mini trash bin to be completely empty and clean inside as we are gonna add some chips in there. In my opinion, there's nothing better than Hot Cheetos Extra. I'm gonna set these aside because now it's time to modify the top. So let's flip it over and cover the bottom with some plastic wrap. It should look something like this before you place it back on the cup. Cut off a big portion of the plastic wrap that sticks out, but let's leave a little intact that way it's easier to stick on to the top of the trash bin. I'll be using tape for that. To cover our tracks, let's push the lid in and as you see, the hot Cheetos are visible, but we'll fix that with a sticky note. We do this for our protection just in case our teachers were to get nosy and push in the lid. They'll see it's full of trash and nothing else, but of course we know better and when they're not looking, all we gotta do is pop off the top and enjoy our hot Cheetos extra or pretty much any snack that you decide to put in there. There's plenty of room, so get creative. Usually toys or stuffed animals are not allowed in class, but sometimes there's exceptions, especially if you take a stuffed animal into class during a holiday or maybe you can pass it off as a birthday gift to one of your friends. Whatever the case may be, if you happen to have a stuffed animal such as this bunny right here, you can get away with sneaking some candy into class. I only paid $1 for this stuffed bunny so it doesn't really hurt me to cut open its back. We gotta do this to remove as much cotton from the inside as possible. Of course we have to make room for our snacks and my choice of snack will be cotton candy. So basically guys, we'll be replacing regular cotton with cotton candy. I'll just take a piece and keep it protected inside the sandwich bag. I can't fit the whole thing in there but this amount will do. To close up the bunny we can attach a zipper on the opening. Velcro also works but me I'm just gonna hold it closed with a safety pin. But yeah guys this bunny is stuffed with cotton candy and if I was to get hungry and I had this bunny available in class I would easily have access to the cotton candy. In the electronics section at my local Dollar Tree I found this really cool tube. As you can already tell it's see through and you can obviously see that this tube contains an audio cable because again I found this at the electronics aisle at the dollar store. I really like this container because the plug is made out of rubber and can easily come off. Also this can easily be hooked onto a strap of a backpack, especially if we attach a retractable batch holder on it. Since we don't need the audio cable for this, we'll get rid of that. Now that the container is empty, we gotta find a lollipop that will fit inside and this one right here was just the perfect size. I have my pop rocks ready right here because I'll add some inside, but first we're gonna attach the lollipop onto the rubber plug. Here I'm using plenty of hot glue to hold it in place. Make sure it's not crooked. While that dries, I can now pour my pop rocks into the container. It fills up a good portion of the tube. If necessary, you might need to trim off a bit of the stick from the lollipop. Now guys, here we are running into a very common problem. The container is see-through. It's transparent. Well luckily, while I was at the dollar store, I also picked up some Toy Story stickers 
and these I can use to cover up the see-through parts of the container. Now that the glue dried and the wrapper has been removed from our lollipop, we are good to go. Start off with an initial lick of the lollipop. Dip it in and with a little shake, you should be able to get plenty of pop rocks to stick on it. You can enjoy this all throughout the day, just keep replacing the pop rocks and eventually you'll have to replace the lollipop as well. I truly believe that I got a good deal for this pack of 4 blue plastic envelopes. I only paid a dollar for them, so if you do the math, it's about 25 cents per envelope and for this demonstration, I'm only going to be using one of these. I really love the fact that these are not transparent and also because they're made out of plastic. They can hold food inside easily and as I've said before, pop tarts are one of my favorite snacks. So this is for those of you who skip breakfast and end up being hungry very early in the morning. It's common sense that you would think that I would be pulling out the pop tarts from inside like this. But no guys, we will not be doing that. In fact, that flap we will leave shut. We actually are gonna undo one of the flaps on the side of the envelope for easier and faster access. Now that it's accessible, let's put our pop tarts inside and close it shut. When we get hungry, there's no need to unclip the large flap because we can slide the pop tart out through the side. See how easy that was? One pop tart just won't do for me, but luckily I have three other envelopes. This round desktop container is made up of two compartments. One is stacked up on top of another and there's a cap that can be screwed on and off. The way we remove the bottom compartment is we unscrew it and it easily comes off. On that one I will be adding some hot Cheetos just like you see right here. Now I'll screw on the other compartment and inside of that one I will be storing my lemon heads. And this one holds pretty much the entire lemon heads from the box. Luckily this purple cap is not see through so we really don't need to tamper much with it. As far as the actual storage compartments we're gonna cover them with some tape so our snacks won't be visible anymore. For example this bottom half I will be covering with red tape and the top compartment I will wrap some blue tape around it just like this. There is nothing fishy about this desktop container. Whether I'm craving chips or candy I'll know where to get them from. So this painting set would be really appealing to any kid that loves to paint. Not only is there a unicorn on it, but also on the bottom of this canvas, there's a palette, paint, and a brush. So let's remove the wrapper to check out the bottom of the tray that these items come in. And by flipping it over, you can see that there's plenty of room there where we can stash some snacks. And to me, Oreos are the ideal snack for this. Overall, it looks like I'll be able to fit about 9 Oreos in there. So let's cover those up with the canvas and to hold both items together let's wrap a couple of rubber bands on them. At this point the Oreos are tightly secured on. So if I end up getting a craving during class all I gotta do is dig in there and pull out those delicious Oreos. I grew up playing with Legos and this giant Lego caught my attention as soon as I saw it and no guys it's not actually a Lego but rather a drink container and it even has a straw on it for our convenience so I just had to buy this. And here's the thing guys, we're gonna use this to sneak some Gatorade into class. Now I know a lot of teachers allow you to bring drinks into class but mostly it just has to be water and nothing else and I myself would rather drink some Gatorade in class and our giant Lego here will help us do that. We'll pass it off as a holder for markers. In this case I'll remove the cap of 6 markers and with hot glue I'll stick them onto the drink container. Now all we do is fill it up with our Gatorade and screw the cap back on. To keep this from leaking another marker cap will help us do that. Keep this handy on your desk at school and when you get thirsty pop off the cap from the straw and sip on your Gatorade. Never would I have imagined that Dollar Tree would carry these type of pens. This is a multicolored pen and when I saw it I just had to get it. You see guys in order for this pen to accommodate so much ink inside there needs to be enough room for them and for me that will be just enough to sneak some nerds into class. This pen can easily be taken apart when I twist it. Here's the tricky part. We gotta pull out all the tubes of ink. This will create so much space for our nerds. So get rid of those one by one. With this flash card, I'll be able to make a funnel to be able to put my nerds inside the bottom half of the pen. All I do now is join both pieces together and that's it. If I happen to be taking notes for a long period of time and need a boost of energy, I'll just get some nerds from inside this pen and as you can see, there's plenty of them in there. 
At first, when I saw this activity tray at the dollar store, it didn't really appeal to me and at the time I couldn't see how I would be able to use this to sneak some candy into class. This tray is just used to hold school supplies over it. There's nothing special about it until I flipped it over and on the edges there was plenty of room because of the way this was shaped. So I didn't think twice and I brought it home and I started to insert some leftover Halloween candy to see if they would fit or not and sure enough I was able to stash away many pieces of candy. So this activity tray would be ideal to help sneak some candy into the classroom. Normally you would not think that floss is a school supply, but guess what? You can still get away with having this in class on your desk. Why? Well because of the simple fact that we gotta maintain our teeth clean. So most teachers will not bother you about having floss in class. This particular floss container was easy to tamper with. With a pair of scissors, I was able to pop off the roll of floss and everything attached to it. All that we are left now is the container and we of course are gonna fill it up with some nerds. It just seems that nerds will fit anywhere and this is no exception. Look at that guys, I have plenty of candy in there, just enough to get me through class. I really like how they package these mini scented erasers. They come in a container shaped as a test tube. Now these mini erasers are unique because the more you use them, the stronger the scent gets. And these particular ones are pineapple scented. It's quite obvious just by looking at them. And since we can't really eat them, I'm gonna empty out the tube and replace them with something more edible. And when I stumbled upon these Haribo gummies, I just had to get them. They are the perfect size and quantity that will easily slide inside the tube just like you see right here. All I do now is close it up and that's it. Even though this tube is transparent, the gummies do look like erasers so you can pass them off as such. Or if you want, you can decorate the container with some washi tape. It's your call but there's plenty of gummies in there to eat while in class. This cup that you see right here comes with small paper clips and even though I was not interested in the paper clips I just had to get it because the cup itself will help us sneak some chips into class. Let me show you how. First we gotta remove the cap and empty out the paper clips. Now let's take a few of those paper clips and tape them inside the cup. Here I'm using clear tape and I'm gonna be doing this to a few more paper clips. See they're pretty spread out. With a couple flashcards, I will block off the view from anyone that wants to peek inside this cup. Just by looking at this, you can assume that it just contains paper clips, right? And the snack that I'm choosing to put in there is some Flaming Hot Cheetos shots. Once I have a good amount in there, I can place the cap back on. This cap has an opening on the top for faster access to my chips. The only way to know that there's chips in there is to look at the bottom. You can also cover the top with another flashcard, but try to make it casual so you do not get caught. I think I got a good deal for these two pencil sharpeners. I only paid a buck for these. So basically, two for one. Anyway guys, these are a good size to fill up with some candy for whenever we need some sugar during class. So what I'm gonna do here is open up this sharpener and you can obviously see that it's see-through, but we will fix that right away with a cutout from a flashcard. Just get the right measurements and cut yourself a piece that will fit inside the sharpener. That way the inside is not visible and we can fill it up with some candy, but we gotta leave enough room to put the top back on. At this point we are done, just keep this handy in your backpack or your supplies box and when you're in need of some candy, get yourself some. I'm not the biggest Frozen fan, but this little book piqued my interest when I saw it and it's not your typical book as this is made out of rubber and foam. Obviously this is meant for little children like toddlers, but we're gonna use that to our advantage and tamper with one of its pages. Right on the bottom of the page, on the edge, let's make a slit that's large enough for us to be able to pull out the piece of foam that's in there. I thought that this was perfect to stash away some flat pieces of Jolly Ranchers. They should stay put in there and now we can close this book. If anyone was to pick up this book and get a feel of it, they won't even notice the pieces of candy in there. Only we know where our Jolly Ranchers are at and we can retrieve them whenever we want. Even though this pocket chart that I picked out at the dollar store is not really meant for kids, but rather teachers, at the end of the day, it's still a school supply that we can use to help us sneak some snacks into class. And sure enough, we will do just that. So let's open this up and unroll it. Notice that it has many see-through pockets, so we gotta cover those and we can easily do that. For example, this top pocket, I will insert a poster cutout that says homework. The pockets below, I will have some flashcards in there. And these I will label with different subjects. For the top pocket, since it's larger, I can stash some Pop-Tarts in there. Here I have a fruit and grain cereal bar which I will cut open for easier access. 
And this one I will put inside my history pocket. So get very creative with what you put in there. You can roll up this pocket chart and keep it handy inside your backpack and resort to it when you start to get hungry. Another cool item that I found, and I know that most students do not have one of these, and I'm talking about a chair storage. So let me take this out of its package and unroll it for you guys so you can see the huge pockets that it has. Now this top part actually goes over the backrest of a chair so you can keep this handy behind one of your friend's chairs if they happen to sit right in front of you. So first things first, let's put some snacks inside, and here I'm opening up a small bag of hot Cheetos. This will go into one of the smaller pockets. Some Doritos are also going in there. And as far as the largest pocket, ideally you'd want to put a bag of chips, a party size if you can get one. But since I don't have any available, I'll just put some lemon heads in there. Whatever you do decide to put in there, just make sure that you leave it open. Since you can clearly see my chips through the pockets, all I had to do is make a few cutouts from poster paper and that's it. In they go and you can no longer see my chips. Now that we are done, here's how it works. First you get to class and then you ask one of your friends if you can put your chair storage behind their chair and now you'll have easy access to all your snacks during class. I just don't see how anyone could starve using this method. There you guys have it, 20 unique ways that you guys can sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class using everyday school supplies that you can easily get at your local dollar store. If you pull these off right, you will not be caught by your teachers and will get away with eating food in the classroom. Now before I wrap up this video, let me remind you about the giveaway I announced earlier. If this video gets 5000 likes before May 31st, 2020, I will randomly be choosing someone from the comments below and that person I will be sending a brand new Nintendo Switch. So if you wish to participate in this giveaway, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. That is it guys, just like and comment. Best of luck pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video, thanks for watching.